Hi, Madonna fans and friends, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, um, and I'm really excited. Madonna has had a lot of recent news, so it was time for another edition of Diva News. One of the big items that I just heard from some of my friends, and since I'm not on Instagram, I didn't actually know this right away, but the news is out that Madonna and Stuart Price are working together on something. I'm really, really excited about this. We all love Stuart Price collaboration with Confessions on the Dance Floor, of course, and his work at Musical Direction on the Reinvention Tour. So I'm really excited to see what's going to be happening with that. Madonna's been leaving lots of hints, posing with her guitar, talking about being in her happy place, and with regards to Stuart Price, talking about how she is revisiting the past to start, you know, to reflect on, on the past by having it be her future. I think that was the quote. My past is now my future, which I think is really cool. And so I'm super excited. I know a lot of fans probably are just hearing this news and just on top of the tour, on top of um, some of the other news we're going to cover. That's just super exciting news. Uh, we're ready for that, we're ready for some dance music and um, in that vein. So let's see what develops, you guys. So exciting. Of course, the other big news before this big news was another collaborator for Madonna that she showed a picture on Twitter that she's um, possibly working on something with, and that's Max Martin. I did not know the name, but apparently after listening to MLVC podcast on their latest uh, podcast about him, he's quite the collaborator and producer. He's been working with all the greats for the last 20 years from Britney Spears to The Weeknd to Justin Timberlake. So definitely in that pop catch catchy music vein much like vogue you know something that would be like a dance anthem for this summer to coincide with the tour shades of blonde ambition i think so i think we're going to get something either like there's been rumors of like a greatest hits celebration album something that would be where she could put in some of those newer collaborations and includes the stuff with Max Martin in there. So that's a possibility um, because a whole new album would probably take too long to be able to uh, capitalize on the, having it out during the tour and having the single out unless she puts out a first single and then maybe the album comes out later. So there's a lot of possibilities as to what is going on, but she basically said that it's time to get to work. The best way to shut the naysayers up is to get back to work. And so along with a lot of the other things that we've been seeing and her posts that she's been making, it really feels like it's not just a retro hits tour, but it's a tour with new music, which is the way we love it. So we're excited about that. Of course, the other big news that we had earlier in the week was more tour dates have been announced. And there have been some really interesting ones for Madonna. Definitely um, uh, being here in the Sacramento, California area, I did not think that she was coming here, but in January, she will be coming to Sacramento at the Golden One Center for a show. So that's super exciting. Um, I'll definitely see that I can get a ticket by that time. Um, I'm already planning to go to the two Seattle shows, which is my hometown. And so, um, that's exciting, as well as the fact that Madonna will be heading to Tennessee, which has been a hotbed of controversy lately with its anti-LGBTQ um, ban on drag shows. And we already know about the drag queen is going to be uh, part of the show. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, so we're excited to see what happens with the, you know, other tour dates down the road. I mean, if this is a 23-24 tour, maybe she'll continue to expand. South America should be included. Um, it's hard to stay past that. But um, let's hope that it continues because it is a greatest hits tour and everyone would want to be a part of that and see it. We also heard some interesting tour news that Gautier will be back for this tour and designing the costumes. And that kind of leads to the rumor that Madonna may be bringing back some of her classic and iconic 
outfits that she's worn throughout the years and tours. It also kind of makes sense because in her press release for this tour, she said it is going to be kind of an homage to New York City and to her beginnings and the story of her life kind of in line with the biopic. So being able to see reimagined and reinvented versions of <clears throat> past tour outfits makes sense. Not exactly the exact replica, but something that just kind of makes you remember that era in her career. And maybe Bob the Drag Queen will be like an MC of the story of Madonna's career and all the hits of her uh, on her journey, you know, because we got a taste of that at the MTV Awards when she showed that snippet of her experience going to New York. So I wonder if we'll see some more stuff like that on the tour in between in the videos that she'll have and just kind of setting us up for the next arc of the show. Um, but we're excited to see um, what Gautier will come up with for sure. And another news item, um, if you haven't had a chance to check out on YouTube, Christine and the Queens, Madonna has collaborated with this uh, band group um, artist, and it's amazing. I listened to Lick the Light Out, which is what you want to YouTube for. It's uh, from the festival where it was premiered. And it will be out in June, the album. But Madonna has a spoken word in there. And it's really awesome. It kind of reminds me of Rescue Me a little bit, her part. And the music is very Enigma, very Sarah McLachlan. If you like that style, you're going to love it. So definitely check it out. Go to YouTube. Look for Madonna. Lick the light out. You'll find it. But I'm definitely loving that sound. At Madonna Everybody Fan Club, we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of American Life over at our Facebook group. Uh, so if you want to come on over and celebrate with us, uh, we will be sharing our memories. I'll definitely be making a video here in the channel to remember um, that period of time. There were some great promo parties I went to. I got some photos from that and some stories to share. And of course, the album itself, which is actually one of my favorites. So I'll be looking forward to sharing that with all of you. Um, of course, we also have Record Store Day, which is celebrating American life with an EP that you can get on uh, Record Store Day. I'm, I'm forgetting the actual date, um, but it's going to be a great um, addition to everyone's collection. I Hopefully you'll be able to get one when you're out there uh, going to the record stores. And um, yeah, so come and join us. Um, we are on Facebook and we have contests and many other features and um, fan of the month. So uh, we look forward to seeing you there. And thanks everyone for checking in to the latest edition of Diva News. Um, if you hear about any news you want to share with us in the comments or your opinions on some of the collaborations, uh, the possibilities, what's going to happen with the tour, what do you think as we see more and more little snippets, what do you think the tour is going to look like? We're getting to the final stretch, not exactly the final stretch, but we're in that like three month period where a lot of things can start being released that will give us more and more clues. So keep your eyes open, share with us, and thank you everyone for being a part of this community. Um, so I'll be talking to you soon. We'll have that Warner deal uh, video coming soon as well as some more unboxings. So thanks you guys, have a great day. Are you looking for a great Madonna fan club to join? We have a place you need to be at. At Madonna Everybody Fan Club, not only this channel, but we also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page titled Madonna Everybody Fan Club. You should definitely come check us out and join. We have contests, fan of the month, features, articles, and a great community for you to get to know and share your Madonna love with other fans. We also would love for you to comment, like, and subscribe on this video and tell us what you think. What do you like to see more of in this channel? We're here for you and Madonna fans rock. So have a great day. Thank you.